when you work a job and you try to be productive outside of that, sometimes it doesn't happen. You have a business idea and it's been years since you've actually done stuff on it. You want to write a book, but it's been years. Whatever it may be, things keep getting pushed back. So you need to work on stuff little bits at a time. And I know I want to be lazy. So I'm accepting that and then I'm figuring out how to still be productive, right? You got to accept it first. So this is the structure that I've been using. Michael's productive laziness system. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, most days I'm pretty lazy. I don't want to do too much. I've known for a long time that I'm lazy and I've come to accept it and work with it because, you know, some people have ADD, which possibly I have, you know, possibly there's things that I have because I really have trouble focusing for a long period of time. And also I don't really want to do stuff that I don't want to do, like strongly don't want to do stuff that I don't want to do. <clears throat> to you that might be like, yeah, of course, why would you, you like wouldn't want to do that. But I'm like compelled to not do things that I don't want to do. So if there's something that I do want to do, I'm like full focused. I'm almost like annoyed if someone did, distracts me while I'm hyper-focused in the thing that I want to hyper-focus on. And so I relax really hard all the time. And then when I want to work on something, I work on it really hard. And so I'm like really relaxed today. I feel lazy. Uh, like I mentioned, this morning I played some video games. Oh, it's me. I just want to like put my head here. And I want to play some more video games. That's what I'm thinking. I don't really want to do too much. I've tried to do this filming thing. This is me filming a day's worth of content. I mean, when you're trying to like look good in the camera, like this or something like that, I don't know, that's not a good, but whatever, you're like, your neck's over and you're like leaning into the camera and stuff like that, because it's like a good angle. Look, when you, when you lift weights, you do a lot of stuff at the gym, you get tired, right? I'm, I'm pretty lazy, but when I go to the gym, I work hard, right? It's a condensed period of working really hard. And then I relax. So now I really want to relax. I do like little chores. I did laundry today. I just did some more laundry, um, some dishes and stuff, you know, whatever chores you got to do around the place. Uh, but, you know, it's Saturday. So you could just do whatever you want as a Saturday. But I actually use Saturdays to catch up on things that I might have missed out on during the week. Sometimes I can use it as a pure weekend day. But I like this concept because it really helps me. So I'm going to show you on the whiteboard how I run my days slash weeks to make sure that I'm still being productive. <laughs> so I'm not just really, really lazy all the time, which essentially I am, but I, I get out of that to go do the things that I care about because I want to progress in the world. I, I want to do things. And unless I set, ta set time aside to go do those things, I won't do them. So let me show the whiteboard. An important note for me in staying productive, remember I'm, I'm lazy, but also <laughs> when you work a job and you try to be productive outside of that, Sometimes it doesn't happen. You have a business idea and it's been years since you've actually done stuff on it. You wanna write a book, but it's been years. Whatever it may be, things keep getting pushed back. So you need to work on stuff little bits at a time. And I know I wanna be lazy, so I'm accepting that and then I'm figuring out how to still be productive, right? You gotta accept it first. So this is the structure that I've been using that works. Maybe I'll change it in the future. It's been different in the past, but this is what I'm doing at the moment. So I'll give you a sense of it. I tried to make it look nicer for you. So this is called Michael's focus. This is what's most important to me, okay? These are the things in my life that I want to improve upon, that I want to grow in. I want to see progress. Maybe there's some goal in it, but a lot of things are about the journey, not just the outcome. And if you're focused on just the outcome, you might reach burnout. And so a lot of these concepts I took from friends, mentors, but also Atomic Habits talks about this, where you do something really small. Just think of like a, almost like a micro habit or something so minute in detail. Some people say, if you don't floss and you want to start flossing, say you're going to floss just one tooth a night, just one tooth. It sounds silly, but once you floss that one tooth, then you end up flossing the whole mouth. But you say that you're just going to do something small. And so here, these things might sound small, but I end up spending more time on it. So the things first for me to focus on is YouTube. I'm doing that now. I'm spending time doing this. And you know, for thinking, for example, an hour, four times a week, might not sound like a lot. Today, I've probably spent two or three hours on this already. So, and that's just, you know, one day, two or three hours. Learn Vietnamese. This is saying 10 minutes, five times a week. I spent maybe 30 minutes today. And there's different times I might grab something and do some more Vietnamese, but this make sure I at least do it in that day and don't forget about it. Build muscle, super important to me. I wanna to go to the gym, I wanna put on more muscle, I wanna bulk up, but I don't wanna to get too fat, which I've been doing lately. 
So I gotta make sure I'm doing cardio as well. So these all have time limits and the time limits make them feasible. I know that I can sit down for an hour and either record content or edit content. I know that I can do that. And for learning Vietnamese, I know that I can take out my phone real quick and study Vietnamese for a moment. It's not too difficult to be able to do that. I can have a cup of coffee and do that. I can, for example, you saw today, it was like, let's go to a coffee shop and do that before we actually go home. Build muscle. I really know I want to bulk up and build muscle. And there's been times where I'm trying to go five days a week, but I kind of feel burned out. I'm not really enjoying it. So I say four days a week. So if I do that, I feel good about it. Also, if you set this too, too much, if you do too much, like I'm going to go to the gym every single day, six days a week, and you go five, you're going to feel like you didn't, you didn't live up to it. You're going to feel bad. The next week, you go five or you go four, you're going to feel like absolute crap because you didn't live up to what you said six. So I like to say four, and every single week I go four, and I feel absolutely great. Some weeks I go five. Some weeks I go six, you know? But at least I'm getting four, and my body's looking in incredible shape because I'm actually focusing on this. And then I've been gaining weight. I've been saying I'm going to do cardio. This wasn't on here. And so I've been gaining weight. I just haven't been going out and haven't been running. And I'm like, keep saying like, oh, I got to figure out time. I got to figure out a way to do it. I got to motivate myself. No, I just had to put it on here. So for example, today I did, I don't even know, 20 or 30 minutes of cardio because I, you know, watched some YouTube videos that motivated me to just do some like warm ups around the gym. And then, so I did some warm ups, and then afterwards I just like, got on the bike and just kept going, maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes, I'm not really sure, because I was thinking about YouTube, I was thinking about things I wanna do for productivity, I was thinking about this, literally I was thinking about all this, and just just going at it until I felt like I was done. And I know that was a while. So uh, these are my, my breakdown. You can have whatever focus yours is. And then this is how I'm breaking down my week. So here you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is not a lot, to do, right? So I have Monday and Tuesday on, which means Monday and Tuesday, I really wanna make sure I'm doing my major pieces. So these four times a week, YouTube for an hour, muscle building an hour. So really, I love muscle building. I can base everything off of this, my, my week. So I know on Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna to go to the gym and give myself Wednesday off so I can recover. And then Thursday, Friday, I can go. And, uh, and then I did my four days, so I'm, I'm, I'm golden. I could also go on Friday uh, sorry, I could also go on Saturday if I want an extra day, or maybe I went on Wednesday and I take Thursday off. It doesn't really matter, but as long as I have this, I'll make sure to go even if I'm feeling lazy. And then I have extra days. The gym is closed on Sunday, so I, I can't go. So I have to make sure I get the four days in, even before the weekend, so that I can catch up. Same for YouTube. I, it's always great to start on a Monday. You just like start here and start your week, do everything. It's, it's not too hard to do everything. Maybe like if I'm gonna start everything really hard, I might do cardio um, on Tuesday instead. Uh, or I can in, put it inside my workouts. Like I'm still working on getting this piece inside my workouts, but today it worked really well. Um, and next week I'm gonna really start putting it in there. And this really helps make sure everything gets done. And then you have Saturday as catch up just because some things don't. And so today, for example, it was Saturday for me and I spent hours on YouTube, right? Um, I've spent 30 minutes on uh, learning Vietnamese. I went to the gym at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half of building muscle today. Like I did legs, it was really, really hard workout I did. So I've done all of these today, which feels really good. From a day where I wanted to sit inside <laughs> and play video games and not do anything else, to doing all the things that made me feel productive, I feel great. And to be honest, if I have multiple days where I don't do these, oh, that's the worst. One day I don't, I don't do these, it feels pretty bad. But if there's multiple days of not doing this, it can really take you down. Like it, it cannot feel so great. So, um, so anyway, this is a very simple structure to follow to help you be more motivated, more productive, just to get more done. And it's so simple. It's so simple. Uh, another concept to think here is just because today I started 30 minutes of Vietnamese doesn't mean that's equal to three days in this week. So I would consider today only one day of Vietnamese. It's as long as it's 10 minutes, it's just one day. You can't like add it up, right? You don't go to the doctor and he's like, you can only have one drink a day. And you're like, man, but I've used to drink a whole six pack a day. And he's like, you can't do that. And you're like, well, he said one drink. So then you get this giant, this huge mug. You could fit 
you know, six, six beers inside of it and you're like, I'm having one drink, okay? That's the same concept here. You can't, you can't just shove your stuff in the rest of the week. You can't like go for a hike for four hours and say, oh, that was my whole workout for the entire week. No, you gotta, you gotta do a little bit every day. The consistency is what builds it up. Not just a little bit every once in a while. Not that one time once a month, you know? Not that one fitness boot camp that you went to three times a year. Like those can help mentally, but it's the consistency that helps you grow. So this is one day for me of Vietnamese. I think this week I might have done five or six days. I think I've done it actually every single day. Plus I talk to people out in public and stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I made that. I'm not really strict on myself for these things, except like building muscle. Like if I'm not doing that, if I only go two days a week, I'll, f I'll feel really bad. But I usually get everything done because it's not, it's not a lot, it's not difficult. For the language thing, I wasn't doing that for a while. So now I'm making sure that I'm doing that by putting a small amount in. I kept telling myself I was gonna do an hour, five days a week. Whenever you tell yourself more than you think you're gonna do, you're just not gonna do it or you're gonna feel burned out. And so I kept telling myself I was gonna do one hour, five days a week, did not do it. And I think I even said one hour, four days a week, did not do it. And so now all I gotta do is 10 minutes, 10 minutes a day. I like saying five days a week. Some people just say 10 minutes a day, every day, but that doesn't really work. You end up just not doing it because you didn't say how many days a week you're gonna do it and then you just fall off. So five days a week. I really like the four days a week of anything, to be honest. I would really like to change this to four days a week, but it's such a small number, right? 10 minutes. It's like I can just grab out my phone and with some coffee. It's only five days a week. For me, I'm able to reason that out. And so, you know, it's only 50 minutes. If I only really studied 50 minutes of Vietnamese, I'd be learning really slowly, but at least I'd be learning. But the thing is, because I'm not counting this 30 minutes as three days, a lot of days I'll end up like getting on, learning some Vietnamese, and it will be maybe 30 to 60 minutes of learning a day. So let's just say one hour a day, and then I end up doing that um, probably three days out of the week. Three days, I'm getting too low. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting too low. But three days out of the week, I might study for an hour. So I'm at three hours, and then maybe two of the other days I study for 10 minutes each. Um, as long as I'm creating that habit, some days I, I study for a long time. And to do that, like studying over a couple hours a week in Vietnamese is helpful, more helpful than not studying at all. Plus I live in Vietnam, so I gotta practice, I gotta talk to people, I gotta spend time doing it. But really like it's helping me stay consistent. You could challenge me on any of these if you wanted to say it or you know, motivate me to go harder if you want, but I really like to be lazy. And so this is my productive laziness system. Yes, that's it. Michael's productive laziness system. Ta-da!